Hey guys, LQ here with the LQ Review. I just got out of watching Joker Folly Ado, and here's my take on it. I don't know what the point of it was. And, and that's, that's I mean, I'm not saying it's necessarily bad. I don't know what the point was, though. Like, it picks up shortly after the first movie ends, and the whole movie is him in prison leading up to his court trial and then his trial that's it that that's the movie so i i feel like there was some opportunities left at the end of the first movie with him creating this following that wasn't explored enough in this film they were i mean they were picked up on a little bit but i feel like the promise of the first movie was completely set aside for in favor of a courtroom drama it i just like i said i don't understand the point of it it's it's almost like the entire movie was like a a final chapter to the first movie and that that that's kind of like an epilogue to the first movie that just closing letting us know what happens to him and it, it just didn't feel like there was a point to it didn't feel like there was a purpose to this movie at all the, I, I, I'm just having a really difficult time kind of processing why. Other than the fact that the first movie made a billion dollars, so they had to make a sequel. All right, there is some really good stuff here, though. Um, Joaquin Phoenix is amazing. And, uh, you know, that's no surprise. I think everybody expects him to be uh, amazing. Um, but for me, Lady Gaga was the one who stole the show. I mean... When she was on screen, the movie was electric. It was firing on all cylinders. When she was off screen, you missed her, and you wanted you wanted more of it. You wanted you know you wanted Harley to come back into the film. Um, this is a very new, different take on Harley Quinn, and it's not my favorite. I mean, if you compare. If you were to compare Margot Robbie's Harley Quinn to Lady Gaga's Harley Quinn, Mar Margot Robbie has the superior version of Harley Quinn, but Lady Gaga can act her butt off. I mean, she is a phenomenal, phenomenal actress. And, you know, I think that's something that we all already knew, right? She's already had several big roles. That obviously, A Star is Born comes immediately to mind, but we know that she's a great actress. And I'm, I'm telling you that she was phenomenal in this movie. Not my favorite take on Harley Quinn. In a movie that I didn't necessarily like. <laughs> but she was great. Just great. And like I said, when she wasn't on screen, you wanted more of her. You want, you missed her. It was a presence that, that you missed when she was not on screen. And she's not on screen as much as you might think. Um, she's very much a supporting role in this movie. Uh, but like I said, Joaquin Phoenix was great too. Uh, the rest of the supporting cast was fine. Um, it, it just, yeah, I don't under, I don't understand the point. There's no reason for this movie to exist other than, hey, the first movie was a huge hit. We need to make some money. I, the plot of this film is a murder trial. That I mean, that that is ultimately the plot. It's Joker's murder trial. It is a courtroom drama. Yeah, they got Harley Quinn in there. You've got her, um, you know, his relationship with her. But that doesn't change the fact that this is still ultimately just a courtroom drama um, that really has no bearing on what we already knew about the first movie. This movie doesn't give us any new information. The way that this movie plays out is how we can infer at the end of the first movie, we can, at the end of the first movie, we can infer that this is what would happen, that the events of this movie is what would happen. Minus obviously the, the, the musical. Yes, it is a musical, 100%. Um, there's probably a, a musical number every five or six minutes. I mean, that's how often we get musical numbers. Um, Oftentimes, the musical numbers are staged in a way where you don't necessarily know what's fantasy and what rea what's reality. Uh, I think that in some ways that was uh, genius. In other ways, it was really, really frustrating. Um, and I think, I think frustrating 
is first of all back to the musical these are all covers right it's not original music this is i would call this a jukebox musical right um but i think frustrating is the best way to describe this movie the talent is great the cinematography is great the music is fine you know but there's no purpose there's no reason for this movie existing um there's a couple parts where i got a little bored because it really is just a courtroom drama uh yeah i've got a heart i've got a difficult i'm having a difficult time with this one um some, some good stuff here but overall overall it just didn't work it, it really just didn't work so um yeah i guess that's my take on joker folly ado uh great a couple great performances some interesting ideas some of the interesting ideas worked some of the interesting ideas didn't work but why i don't know that's my take on it guys what did you think of joker folio do let me know in the comments down below while you're down there commenting subscribe to my channel and until next time we'll see you guys later